Ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand after seven long years of giving you my hard picks, my hard on NFL picks, people. It's the thing that I love most, which is the opening season. That's right, y'all. Are you ready for some football? We are back, and I am your host, Mike Knox. And indeed, I spell my name with three X's because like my winning percentage I am hardcore. Get to know it. Get to know me for those who are new. Hashtag bet that. People, for over seven years, I have given you the best NFL picks that people can give you. I am your number one handicapper to social media. That's right, people. Brandon Lang ain't got nothing on me, people. That's right. For those who don't know what handicapping exactly is, let me paint the picture for you oh so vividly, people. Listen, every week, you know Vegas, you just had the biggest fight of the century where Conor McGregor, for those who were foolish enough to put money on him against Floyd Money Mayweather, came up short. But I understood that because if he would have made the biggest upset in sports history, not just combat sports history, but sports history, you would have been paid. So guess what, people? My job here is to do one thing and one thing only, like the movie, show me the money. That's what I plan to do for you, people. Show you the money. Again, the hashtag, get to know it, get to share it, bet that. Hashtag bet that, people. Fox Sports Radio's own is here to bring it to you like no one else can. Again, let's get the particulars out of the way. Make sure you follow me on Twitter by my namesake. You already know the name. It's Mike Knox. Make sure you follow the station that gives you the identification. That's 1340 AM Fox Sports. And also follows wherever social media is sold, which is absolutely free. My show that I host on Fox Sports Radio is The Soul and Sports. But for those who are just new to this and those who've been here for a while, you know I am the CEO of the BDSI. IR Radio Networks, which stands for one thing, the best damn show and radio networks. Now, enough of the particulars, enough of hearing from me. You're here to do one thing, and that's show you how to win some money. People, that's right. It's going down. We are waiting on word as I speak about the Ezekiel Elliott situation. And will he be suspended? Will the suspensions be reduced? We, at this moment, do not know. So I am recording this video with the intentions of what we already know, and that's him not being there. Also, at this moment, news just came down this Sunday as the Miami Dolphins were scheduled to host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That game has not been canceled, but it will not take place in Miami. Hopefully, they can move that up north to Central Florida, where the storm is likely to maybe veer off a little bit more and hold it in um, World Camp Stadium up in Orlando. I was there for WrestleMania, a beautiful venue. It's enough time to get it done, and it's right in the middle of both places, Tampa Bay and Miami. But let's give it to you how you want to hear it, and that's this week's picks. People, you got the New England Patriots, Broadway Brady. I like to refer to him as the Madden cover boy. He says, curses do not exist. Well, is that true? Because he's already lost his top weapon, uh, Edelman, for the year with an ACL sprain. They are favored, favored by nine points against Kansas City. Andy Reid, we know we, I made the joke, so I'm going to make it again. Every time I speak of Andy Reid, I will always make that joke. He thought he was going to Kentucky Fried Chicken KFC, and he ended up in Kansas City with Alex Wright. I mean, Alex Smith, excuse me. I'm thinking about the Daz Wonderkin for all my wrestling fans back there. I was thinking of Alex Wright for a moment, but he ends up with Alex Smith. The writings on the wall, the fans in Kansas City anyway, uh, are looking for Pat Mahomes to take over. And I say, Arch skirt, not so fast, guys. Listen, Alex Smith is one of the most overrated quarter, I mean underrated quarterbacks, if you will, so to speak, in the NFL. All he does is get the job done. They need to put more weapons around him where they do that. Again. Super Bowl champions are coming into this game uh, off the victory, as we said, off the greatest victory in NFL Super Bowl history, 28-3. That's what I call the Atlanta Falcons in the fourth quarter. But nine points? Now, we have two rules here. Double-digit uh, point spreads in the NFL are disrespectful. For I'm not going to take that it's not double-digit, but it's close to double-digit. Nine points against Kansas City at home or not, as Kansas City got to come east. Guess what? I'm taking Kansas City to cover the spread, but I got New England to win the game. Then we got Buffalo, favored by nine points against the New York football J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Listen, I know the Jets have sold off assets like their Michael Jackson, but listen, they are trying to tank 
the way that the Boston Celtics and the 76ers in the NBA has tanked before. And, and there's no lottery. So if they tank well enough, they can get the number one pick. That's what they want. Will they get it? Probably. But nine points in the NFL in a divisional matchup is also kind of scary. Now, I know the Jets have no offensive weapons. I know they just got rid of their favorite and best defensive player and shipped him off to Seattle. I know all of that. But nine points Buffalo, I know it's preseason, and you can't really judge the preseason, but what I saw in the preseason was not impressive, okay? I do see Shady McCoy coming back, in my opinion, the best running back in the NFL. I know you're going to say, whoa, did he just say the best running back in the NFL? I know you guys like Bell. I know you like David Johnson. I know you like this guy and that guy. But Dimes has the, is the leading rusher in the NFL over the past six seasons. Don't get mad at me. Stats don't lie. People do, okay? With that being said, give me the Buffalo Bills and a close one. I'm going to give them this nine-point win, okay, to eke it out against the J-E-T-S, yes, yes, yes. But I'll tell you one thing. The hardest week in the NFL, the handicap, is week one. Is week one. Now, listen, after 1,792 games, 1,792 games over the past seven seasons, do the math. 1,792 games over seven seasons. I have won a whopping 1,103 games. That's me. I've only lost 689 games. So when I say hashtag bet that, I mean bet that. Give me the Buffalo Bills to cover the nine points against the New York football. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Then we got the 28-3 Atlanta Falcons. Off of the devastating loss. Listen, to all my friends in Atlanta, they've been waiting five long months to get back to this moment. Or seven long months to get back to this moment to make up for that game. And they had to go to the city that they I was born in. The Chicago Bears. The Bears, the monsters of the midway. No longer monsters. They're not even coming out of your closet like monsters think. They're just the Bears. And Mitch Trubisky is their quarterback? Get me the Atlanta Falcons to cover the seven points on the road in that game. And you know what? Too early for that, so I hold that off. Then we got Houston at home taking on Jacksonville. Jacksonville is just a, listen, we call here on the Soul and Sports, my man, Emmy Richmond on the Twitter. He likes to call the Cleveland Browns the factory of sadness. Go ahead and throw an extra team in there, and it's the Jacksonville Jaguars. Give me Houston my playoff team, my, my AF South, AFC South divisional winning and favorite team again to win this game in a divisional matchup against Jacksonville. Give me Houston and the five. Then this is a game that's tough for me, guys, because people have to understand whether it's a debate you have with your friends, whether it's the conversation you have in the barbershop where barbershop talk does beat radio, that is the soul and sports cheap pop, but it's not, okay? You have to be able to separate your fandom from reality and give an open, honest assessment of this game. Now we have another divisional matchup. My favorite team, the Philadelphia Eagles, favored by one on the road against Washington. Washington dogged the Eagles in the last, what, three, four games in a row? This game's in Washington to open up the season. They don't know what they have. Eagles don't know what they have. I know one thing about the Eagles I don't like is that's them carrying five running backs. I know the secondary, it's all made up. They've made trades. They've made more trades and more trades and more trades and draft picks and draft picks. And guess what? I'm still not sure about the Philadelphia Eagles. It's a pick em game. So guess what? I'm going to have you pick it. Nah, but you want me to pick it, so I'm going to pick it for you. Giving the Eagles to cover the one point, but I'm not cool with that. I'm not satisfied with that. If this is a game, I'm going to tell you, do not touch. Do not touch this game. But if you must, go ahead and take the foot of the Eagles and the one point. Then we got Arizona on the road going to Detroit. Brand new contract. Okay, giving out there. He's getting $135 million for Matthew Stafford. People say, is Matthew Stafford worth it? I go, what quarterback do your team have? He may not be worth it to, Tom, to the New England Patriots. He may not be worth it to the Philadelphia Eagles. But he might be worth it to Detroit. Oh, cool. So what? He hasn't won a playoff game, and they haven't won a playoff game since 1991. So what? He's still the best quarterback they have. You know, who else is going to go out there and get? Colin Kaepernick? Okay. Anyway, give me Arizona to have a re- Surgeons of a year to make up for the year they had last year. Two points on the road against Detroit. Go ahead and lock it up. One of my upsets of the week. Lock it up. No, you lock it up. I said lock it up. 
upset of the week. Give me Arizona to cover the two points against Detroit. Then we got Tennessee versus Oakland. The Oakland Raiders, my really sneaky team this year. And Tennessee in the South trying to be sneaky. Yes. Listen, this is a two and a half point game. Tennessee's at home, two-point game, I'm sorry. Tennessee's at home. That's why they have the favorite. This game was in Oakland. It would go the other way. I truly don't know. My second do not touch game of the day. But guess what? I'm going to touch it because you want me to touch it like Hammer said. So you can't touch this. I will touch this because I have marbles the size of grapefruits, okay? Fist McMahon, come on. Holler at me, brother. I got a job better for you than any of the other guys that got you in the company, okay? So give me Tennessee, the home dog, to lose this game. I love the Oakland Raiders. I love Derek Carr. I love Marshawn Lynch. Mr. Skittle Pox coming back. He will win this game, and Oakland will win this game as well. Give me Oakland to cover the home, uh, to be the underdog by upset of the week. Now, I'm giving you my one, my one upset, which was Arizona, was the home loss. I'm going to give you two upsets of the week, which I only give out one normally. I'm going to give you two this week. Give me Oakland to upset Tennessee on the road. Then we got Cincinnati at three. At home against Baltimore, we have no Joey Flacco. I think he's a franchise player. I think he's elite. You cannot spell elite in my opinion without spelling Flacco. I know they don't match together, but I just, you know, it's my show. Don't like to listen anyway. So give me, I'm sorry, Baltimore fans. I like Baltimore. I just like Cincinnati a little bit better at home. The Bungles covered his three points. Then we got Pittsburgh, nine points against Cleveland. Divisional matchup on the road. We got Joe Hayden coming back to the team he just left. Give me Pittsburgh, my AFC Runner up again for the second year this road away. Because my Super Bowl pick, guys, I got it. It's Seattle versus the Patriots. It's Seattle versus the Patriots. That's my Super Bowl pick. Okay. But give me Pittsburgh to cover the nine points against Cleveland on the road. Then we got the Los Angeles Rams at home taking on the Indianapolis Colts. No Andrew, just not luck. Listen, Andrew's luck is running out. So go ahead, give me Los Angeles Rams and the new Ram fate road revamped offense in Jericho. Second year, they better show and prove. Or someone's going to have to show and prove to get him out of town. Give me the Los Angeles Rams to beat the Indianapolis Colts. Then we got the Packers of Green Bay at home. Three points against that team I just told you a win. This is right here. It's week one. I told you it's the hardest week in the world to pick. It's week one. Who do you pick? You got the Packers of Green Bay playing excellent at home. Aaron Rodgers, Seattle's defense. This is a game that I would tell you not to touch, but guess what? I just told you I had balls the size of grapefruits, okay? So guess what? I'm going to take Seattle with the upset in Green Bay to win this game against the baddest man on the planet, Aaron Rodgers. Give me Seattle in the three points to cover the home dog. Then we got Carolina on the road, favored by six points against San Francisco. Lock of the week, Carolina. The Panthers are back, baby. The Panthers are back, baby. They will beat and cover the six points against San Francisco. Then we got Dallas versus the New York football Giants. The Giants... Are really my pick to win it all for the NFC East, giving the Giants to cover this game, whether Zeke is there or not. I like the New York football Giants, the NYPD New York pass defense is amazing, it's awesome. Give me New York. Then we got the Monday Nighter, a double header. Give me Minnesota, four points over New Orleans at home, and then Denver's favored by four points over the Chargers. I'm taking the Los Angeles Chargers. Yeah, we'll say of L.A., right? But that's the Los Angeles Chargers. So give me the Chargers to uh, upset the Denver Broncos on the road and give me Minnesota to cover the home spread. And Minnesota will win the NFC North. There you have it, guys. I'll give it to you one more time. I go start from the bottom to the top because we here. I'm taking the Chargers. I'm taking the Vikings. I'm taking the Giants. I'm taking the Carolina Panthers. I'm taking the Seattle Seahawks. I'm taking the Los Angeles Rams. I'm taking the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm taking the Cincinnati Bungles. I'm taking um, Oakland. I'm taking Arizona. I'm taking Philadelphia. I'm taking Houston. I'm taking Atlanta. I'm taking Buffalo. I'm taking um, the Kansas City Chiefs to upset, not to win the game outright, but point spreads here. We talk about point spreads. So, again, I remember that from the, from the top to the bottom because we still here. Point spreads only. Give me Kansas City. Give me Buffalo. Give me Atlanta. Give me Houston. Give me Philadelphia. Give me Arizona. Give me uh, Oakland. Give me uh, Cincinnati. Pittsburgh. Give me the Ram, Seattle, the Giants, Carolina, Minnesota, and Los Angeles Chargers. And yes, that game I did not talk about is the Tampa Bay versus Miami game. Tampa Bay is favored by three points in that game against Miami, which would have been a road game. I'm still going to take Tampa Bay to win that game. So there you have it, guys. Tampa Bay, my picks are here. Hashtag bet that. Listen, guys, 75% winners. It's Sunday. Vegas opens up their books to you to win money. I'm going to show you how to win money. 
75% winner, guys. 1,792 games. I've won 1,103. I've lost 689 games. Hashtag bet that. Follow me on Twitter at Mike Knox. Follow 1340 AM Fox Sports. Follow Soul and Sports. And guys, listen, most importantly, follow the money. Hashtag bet that. We out of here, y'all.